I'm going to shoot though. So it's um it's the second of October today and I'm going to shoot though to visit my dad and his family to to attend the wedding and also I'm going to visit my cousin and my uncle. Now I now I'm going Outlash, Outlash. And high street brands. So, the small town in Europe. So, it feels like I'm just in Europe. Yeah. 就是风格就是好像是欧洲一样<笑> It's Suzo day two, and I'm going to pick up my friends from Fudan. They're going to are coming here to visit me for one day, so I'm going to pick them up at the train station now. We're now in Pingjiang. What do you think about Suzhou until now? It's pretty it's good. Nice. It's pretty nice. We're on our way to get food. <laughs> yes. Yeah, people are so quite excited. upset. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good thing that we're getting food. Yeah. It's nice. It's very uh like the, the I feel like the housing and just like the the feel is like a little more traditional. Yes true. So we at Yuan Chu now.
现在来逛一下株洲中心。Sorry, it's ten in the evening now. I just finished dance and I'm on my way home now. So yesterday, my friends from Fudan, um, like a big group from California, uh, they're all exchange students at Fudan, uh, just like me. And they came and visited me yesterday to just spend the whole day with me here in Suzhou. And I just had such a good time with them. And I felt very blessed the whole day because just the vibe and the energy while being with them was, was so nice. And it just reminded me that if you like, are going abroad or going on exchange or just traveling around alone or coming to a new place, a new country alone, if you just are open-minded and willing to get to know people, you will realize that you can get friends and very close and good friends so fast. Good morning guys. So it is Suzhou day four and it is around eight in the morning. I'm on my way to my grandmother's place to eat breakfast. Um, I'm going to attend a wedding today. So it's going to be exciting. So it's actually my second time going to a Chinese wedding, so I'm pretty excited. Um, last time it was my cousin who got married and it was like such an experience. It was very different compared to the weddings I have been to in Denmark. So I'm going to show you how a typical Chinese wedding is today. Sometimes we say things that we really don't mean. We do things in between the lines. We should do more to stay. So it's Suzhou day five, and I'm on my way to my grandma's place to eat breakfast. I'm going out today to play some golf with my dad and his wife and my little sister. So um, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Yee! 